The Ambassador Bridge turns 90 this week, an iconic fixture of Windsor and Detroit, one of North America's busiest border crossings. But the future of the bridge is up in the air. From above, below, and during the crossing, the Ambassador Bridge is a marvel. What a feat of engineering and construction back in 1929. Imagine 1929, building a bridge about two kilometers long from terminal to terminal. Twin towers nearly the height of the Statue of Liberty. And safety gear, not what it is today. You look at the tools, the equipment, and, and the safety gear that these workers have today and, and back then when they didn't have that, yet they were still able to build something that's lasted this long. Today, it's called a high-risk project to work on the Ambassador Bridge, partly because of the heights, but also because of the traffic. These guys, originally when we first got this project, they thought this is going to be a struggle. Trucks going by them, millimeters away from them, but these guys love the work. Right now, Matassa Incorporated has a crew working on the Canadian side of the bridge, and the bridge does not shut down for the work. It's a three-year project that starts just after the Detroit River, connecting back to the terminal. It's a project that costs millions. We're using materials right now that weren't available 90 years ago. Things that are gonna make this bridge last another 75 years. But some who look up at the bridge see shadows of the past. I think about uh, 120 or, or more boarded up properties that could have been livable uh, 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 you know, properties for families. I wonder about that a lot and, uh, and what it could have done to the, the stability and vibrancy of, uh, of Sandwich Town. The bridge company bought these homes. Neighbors say they were left to rot, abandoned but standing tall. Ghosts that haunted one of Ontario's oldest communities. The city of Windsor forbid the company from tearing them down, worried a new bridge would go up in their place. In 2017, the Canadian government quietly approved a replacement bridge. The city relented, allowing for the demolition of homes along Indian Road. But the approval of a new bridge had conditions for the old one. Tear down the Ambassador Bridge once the new one was built. Turns out it's not that simple. Two years have gone by, and well, homes have been bulldozed, nothing has been built. The bridge company says it's because of conflicting permits. One U.S. permit says we have to maintain the Ambassador Bridge because of its historic nature, and a Canadian permit says we have to demolish it after the new bridge is built. So uh, we're having the two countries have that discussion to let us know what to do. This is beyond us. For the ward councillor, it's a continued frustration. It's another example of uh, the bridge company um, uh, doing things uh, unilaterally without uh, accepting uh, our laws and uh, and our uh, you know agreements that have been made. Up on the Ambassador Bridge, it's busier than normal. Three million trucks traveling across in 2018, more than any other crossing Canada shares with the United States. This work should finish soon, and next, the American side. And then when you look at it, it's beautiful now. You see just, it's a world of difference from what it was four years ago. It's just, it's a nice looking structure now. Nice now, but like most events involving this bridge, the only thing clear about the future of this structure and this community is up in the air.